prostate cancer. It's the most common form of cancer in Australian men, with one man unfortunately losing his battle every three hours. Now this puts it at the same level as breast cancer in women. However, prostate cancer has nowhere near the level of support or awareness breast cancer does. Now, with statistics like these, I don't need to tell you there's no cure. There's simply treatments which ravage the body, leaving it weak. Now this cancer grows at a blistering pace. And to fuel this growth, it sends out a web of blood vessels, stealing nutrients and hormones from the body. This web, however, is one of the cancer's greatest weaknesses. It's crude, leaky, allowing particles of a certain size to easily pass into it. This is where my project comes into play. Now, gold nanoparticles, as the name suggests, are simply nano-sized spheres of gold, easily able to pass into these blood vessels. And this infiltration is aided by the fact that, like Scrooge McDuck, tumours love gold. They hoard it, they simply accumulate it. Now, as a chemist, I can not only synthesise these nanoparticles, but I can also synthesise compounds which aim to mimic the body's natural hormones. You've got to remember, in prostate cancer, there's an overexpression of these hormone receptors, meaning the tumours are greedy, they snatch up hormones wherever they can get them. So, by combining these nanoparticles and these hormone mimics, I can create a molecular trojan horse, tricking those tumours into drawing in the nanoparticles, effectively opening the gates for the weapon which I plan to use. Right now you're probably asking yourself, what good's this? All you've done is blinged up that tumour a little bit. No, I can pack these nanoparticles full of any number of chemotherapy drugs, meaning we can now think of them as a delivery system, able to accurately guide these chemotherapeutics into the heart of the tumour, allowing them to accumulate. As if this wasn't enough, when gold nanoparticles are exposed to light of a certain wavelength, they absorb energy, growing hotter and hotter until BANG! They burst, decimating that tumour, burning it from the inside out. You've got to remember though, they're carrying a payload. They're stuffed full of these chemotherapy drugs, meaning what is, whatever isn't destroyed in that initial detonation is now hit with a concentrated dosage of chemotherapeutics, finishing it off. All of this, however, is localised inside the tumour, minimising those harmful side effects you get with conventional chemotherapy, sparing that healthy tissue that we so desperately need to keep alive. So, with my project, prostate cancer now becomes its own worst enemy. Thank you.